is coming up literally any second. channel so today I'm in Pease Lake Surrey Hills it's one of my local riding spots but this time I've come on my Lapierre trail bike which looks awesome I've got the halo vortex wheels on there gusset pedals and components the carbon seat is insane and obviously the old slip grips look awesome as well but we've come on the enduro bike slash trail bike whatever you want to call it because I've not ridden it here before and this is what this bike is for so I thought it would be perfect to come and try it out. They are part of High Bike still, they're um, sort of like the sister company in the UK so High Bike obviously don't make non-electric bikes and you might have seen that they've got a brand new one out right now so go and check it out if you haven't already seen it. But we're going to start off this session today by going down Barry Knows Best which is my favourite trail so it'll be good to see how this bike holds up. So before we even get to the trail, the first test is actually pedalling this bike and it's so much effort. <laughs> I'm used to the electric power which round Pease Lake is perfect because it's such a massive area so you can get to the trails and lap them so much faster but we're just gonna have to plod along. Whew. Right, let's get to the trail. So much harder to get up to speed on these bikes. And it's gonna be, whoa, true, slightly wet. We've had so much rain. Woo! So much fun. Right, come on. Let's properly test this bike out. Right, roots. Sweet. Nice. I love this trail because it's super long and there's nothing too hard but it's really jibby so you can like choose some cool lines. Getting some speed up now. Yo! Great. Woo! Yo! Oh my god, pedal. Right, pedal. Come on, Cara. This is where the e bike really comes into its own because you can get back up to speed in seconds yes yes come on pedal muddy as you like right round the firm round the firm root gardens no not root gardens no. <laughs> Mud! I better get used to it because when the winter comes whoo, it'll be super muddy. Okay, come on Cara. Right, round the berm. Right, we're going to get some speed up because it's a bit downhill. Yeah, come on. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Yeah. Right up here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh dear, I'm tired. Breath. Yeah, we did it. Sweet. That was epic. That's a perfect trail to warm up on because I know it pretty well and it's super fun and it's nice and long as well, which I really like. It's so cool to just fly downhill for so long. But I've pedaled up so many hills and the sun is out today, so it's making it even harder because it's super hot. But I want to try and get myself to the lookout point because I know there's some pretty awesome like trails that you can blast down there and they're pretty steep as well. So I want to put this bike to the ultimate test and see how much like gnar it can take because those trails are super hard. I've only done them like twice and they're really, really steep. So it's pretty scary for me. So anyway, let's just get to the top of the lookout point. I made it to the lookout point. Yay. Whew. And I'm so out of breath. There's so many hills in Pease Lake. You don't notice it when it's on the e-bike because it just like cruises up. But this trail here is the steep gnarly one and I'm just gonna drop in and hope for the best. Right, here we go, dropping in. I'm super nervous. Okay, right, we're taking it easy with it. Oh my goodness me, okay. Okay, right, we're still on. Didn't think I would be then, but I am. Oh, it's hurting my hands. <laughs> bit overgrown, right. I know this is the worst bit because that wasn't even the gnarly bit. The gnarly bit is coming up literally in a second. Okay, right, we're good, we're good. Ah! Oh wow, here we go. Oh my goodness, okay. Right, that was me holding on for dear life. Okay, right. Whoa! Wowzers! That's the end then, there's a tree in the way. Okay, right, that was super scary. <laughs> like, it's so steep. The GoPro never really like does it full justice as, how, as to how like steep something really is. But we came to an abrupt end because if I'd have gone at that full steam, then that definitely would have been an over the bars. So I'm glad I stopped when I did. But this used to go into some like cool gap jumps and a hip and things, but they got destroyed because they're a bit too gnarly apparently so and I can't ride them anyway so I don't even know why I brought that up but <laughs> I'm gonna um go on to the next trail now and continue to test and have a session really right I've arrived at the next trail which is supernova and this one is such a nice trail as well it's super flow it's got a few routes some jumps so it's got a, a mixture of everything and it is one of my favorite trails so let's just get it here we go. Supernova. Woo! Super nice. Getting up the speed. sections here. Oh mud. Right, oh my goodness. Straight through the mud puddle. Right, we're on to the downhilly section now, which is this line here. So, dropping in. Whoa. This bit involves a lot of, whoa, oh my God. I literally did a drift in the mud. 
I was about to say that bit involves a lot of concentration because there's trees which are wow super close but right, drop off Over the road, by road, into part number two. Oh my goodness. Yo! Firing! It's so weird because some parts of the trail are like bone dry, but other parts are really uh, boggy. Right, cruising, cruising. Oh dear. Wow. Carry the speed. Whoa. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Come on, Cara. Pretend like you're racing. Speaking of races, hopefully we'll get a few of them in this year before the winter. And we're out. Woo! We did it. That was incredible. Super different on a non-e-bike just because like carrying speed around the trails is so much harder because you have to pedal and some of it's uphill so it's quite a lot harder and I know some of you are probably going to comment and go yeah that's riding for you but when all you've ridden is an e-bike it's super hard to like get your fitness up to I guess riding something like this on a trail but we'll get there I will definitely want to ride this bike a lot more like trail riding is sick on it but I do love like downhill and dirt jumps and stuff on it so we'll take it to a few more of those places but yeah the e-bike is definitely definitely the one for me <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up leave some comments below maybe some ideas of where I could take the enduro bike or the e-bike or even the dirt jump bike let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you guys very soon bye